Hi everyone, welcome to Kif.com. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your web hosting account with us and access the basic functions inside our client area. We start on the home page of Kif.com where if you don't have a domain, you can register one with us. Also, you can transfer one in from another registrar. To set up your web hosting account, on the top right of our home page menu, click on web hosting. All of our web hosting packages come with a free domain and SSL certificate. Also, we, we are a cloud-based platform, which means that we do not rely on traditional web servers. We utilize SSD RAID 10 storage and Lightspeed caching, which increases page load time up to 10 times faster than traditional web configurations. We offer three different types of web hosting packages. The primary difference between the packages is how many websites you can host and the resources available. For this video, we'll be registering the starter package. The next option is to choose to register a new domain, transfer your domain from another registrar, or use an existing domain and update the name servers. For this video, we'll choose to update the name servers, and we will set up an account for test.net. And the last thing we can configure is the billing cycle for our web host package. Either 12, 24, or 36 months are available, and we reward customers who choose the longer billing cycle with lower prices. We'll choose the 36 month and click continue. And we're on the order summary page now where we can see the products that we have chosen that we are going to check out with and the enormous savings you get when you shop your web hosting with KIF. The start 2018 discount gives you over 30% off all web hosting packages from their original price, which are already highly competitive. We can see here to register web hosting for the next three years would only cost us $142.32. On the checkout screen, you can create an account with KIF if you don't already have one. Simply enter the required information and select complete order. I'm going to go through this checkout process now and we'll pick up the video in the client area. Alright, welcome back. We are inside the client area of kif.com. This is our demo account, so we've got some other products and services registered to showcase the features of our client area. To go through the basic functions, we'll work through these four tabs here from left to right. The very first one is products and services which are also listed here. So we click on the tab and we can see the products and services that we have active registered with us. So we registered test.net for three years was the web hosting package that we bought. We click on that and this is where we can manage that web hosting service. The first category here, package domain, we can visit the website or see the who is info on that domain. You can verify your name servers here, ns1.kif.com and ns2.kif.com. We can see disk usage and bandwidth usage here. And the most important function inside our client area for the web hosting packages is the ability to log into cPanel right here. So if we click on this, this is going to automatically log us into cPanel using a single sign-on system which means that your credentials have already been verified and you don't need to enter your cPanel login details as well as the client area login details. As soon as you're in the client area, you can get to cPanel without another sign-on. Once inside cPanel, we can do anything that we would normally do. The quick shortcuts option here is also cPanel related, so these are all apps inside of cPanel that are frequently used by our clients. If we click File Manager, this will take us to the file manager of our cPanel account, again through the single sign-on system. 
You can create a quick email account by entering the username and password here, clicking create. It will create a quick email account and we can see our billing overview. To get back to the client area homepage, we click home and we're back on the home page. This account, we have a domain registered to showcase the features of our domain management. We registered kif.org, so we click on kif.org and the first thing we see is an overview of this domain. So we see when it was registered, the status and the payment amounts. I'd like to highlight a few important features under the manage tab over here on the right. The very first one is name servers. So by default, your name servers are ns1.kif.com and ns2.kif.com. When you purchase a domain that is paired with web hosting, these will automatically be tied together. But should you need to change your name servers, you can do that here. We do offer a registrar lock, which will prevent your domain from being transferred away without your authorization. If you did not purchase ID protection or one of the add-ons that we offer on initial purchase of your domain, you can still buy them here and they will activate automatically. If you need to create name servers for your domain or manage, modify, or delete name servers for your domain, you can do that here. And finally, the last option is to get EPP code. And an EPP code is used to transfer your domain to another registrar. You do not have to open a support ticket or contact us in any way to transfer your domain out of our management. Simply click, click get EPP code and it will send it to your email and you can transfer your domain to another registrar. Back home, the third option here in red is tickets. This is where you will see any active tickets or closed tickets that you have opened. To open a new support ticket, we're here on the right, click open ticket and then choose which department you need to open the ticket to. So maybe it's technical support and you fill out the subject and message and click submit. Our support team is here to help you with any technical support or questions you may have. Tickets are closed after three days of no response. So if we don't respond or you don't respond after three days, then the ticket is automatically closed. The last tab here is invoices, where you can see unpaid or paid invoices on your account. And the last feature I would like to show you inside our client area is under this login screen here, email history. This is a record of all the emails that we have sent you, including the most important email that we send you, the new account information. So this email is gets sent out when a new account is registered with us and it gives you your email settings, your FTP username and passwords, name server information, login details to cPanel, and so forth. Should you lose that email for any reason, it is always available inside your email history. And as that goes, so is any tickets that you open, invoices that are paid, and affiliate monthly referrals reports. All right, so that's it for how to set up a web hosting account with us and access the basic functions inside cPanel. Thanks for watching.